Hello and welcome to MATLAB programming for numerical computations. We are in module 7. In this module, we are covering ODE initial value problems. We are in lecture 7.3 and in this lecture, we will consider a MATLAB algorithm known as ODE45 in order to solve ODE initial value problems. ODE45 is kind of a workhorse in MATLAB. It's the first algorithm that you go to in order to solve ODE problems. Okay, let's go and look at the syntax of ODE45. So typical use of ODE45 is as follows. Okay, now uh, as we have seen in the previous lecture in RK2, we obtained the solution yi at various values of ti. Okay, likewise ODE45 also returns the values of yi at various values of ti between t0 and t end. The intermediate values at which the computations are done are calculated internally by ODE45. ODE45 uses a Runge Kutta fourth order method, an RK4 method. Recall that we have covered RK2 method in the previous lecture. Uh, not only that, not only does it cover an, uh, uh, use an RK4 method, it uses what is known as adaptive step size RK4 method. What that means is that the step size h is not a constant value. Uh, recall that in the previous lecture we took the step size h equal to 0 0.1 and we, later on we changed it to 0 0.01 and so on. Okay, uh, We had predetermined what the step size is going to be. ODE45 doesn't predetermine what the step size is going to be, but at each step it calculates what is the optimum step size in order to minimize the error to get the error among within the tolerance that we have set for ODE45. These are rather advanced concepts which we are not going to cover in this particular uh, course. However, I wanted to point this things out to you because this is something that you will come across again and again if you are going to use ODE45 or any other MATLAB ODE solvers. All the solvers in MATLAB are variable step size or adaptive step size solvers where MATLAB internally decides the step size to uh, get the errors within the required tolerance intervals. Okay, so the typical way how we will use ODE45 is ODE45 at t, y. Recall we go to our previous lecture, lecture 1, okay, we were given ODE in the form of dy by dt equal to f of t comma y, okay. So the function f is a function of both t and y and we have to provide that function. So that function takes in two arguments time t, the, uh, the dependent variable y and returns the vector dy, okay. In this case, because we are interested in looking at a single variable problem, it will return just a scalar. Okay, so ODE45 calculates, uh, uh, or sorry, ODE45 gives t comma y as the arguments which are passed on to the function f name. Okay, the initial time t zero, the final time t end, and the initial solution y zero are also passed on to the solver. Okay, so the f name is the name of the function that returns dy by dt as a function f t comma y. Let's look at the examples that we have been covering so far in this uh, module using ODE45. Let's look at RK2 Yoon's method. This was our code for RK2 Yoon's method. We will now solve it using RK, sorry, using ODE45. Edit, run ODE. Solve ODE IVP using okay. So T zero equal to zero, Y zero equal to one, T 
and equal to 5. We don't need h over here. Okay. Solving using ODE 45. Let's look at the syntax. The syntax is T sol comma Y sol equal to ODE 45. T sol comma Y sol equal to ODE 45 at t comma y so t and y are the variables that are passed on to the function that uh, od45 code is going to call let's call this function my or first ode fun t comma y again the uh, Order of t and y is important. It is it has to be t comma y and not y comma t. This is one area where some students make a mistake. That mistake is not very common, but some students do make that mistake. Next one is in square brackets. We need to give the t span, the time span, t zero comma t end, t zero t end. Okay. Next we need to give y zero, y zero. Yeah. That should be it and plot. Okay, so let's run this and see what happens. Okay, it did not run. Probably there was some error. Undefined function first ODE file. Why did we get that? Because we have not yet defined our function first ODE fun. So let's go ahead and do that. Again, see when you run MATLAB functions in order to solve ODE or to solve nonlinear equations or whatever, you get a bunch of errors and the errors will trace back to the calling functions. Let's call the, let's make that function first ODE fun. function dy equal to first ODE first ODE fun t comma y okay and dy is nothing but minus 2 multiplied by t multiplied by y okay that's all there is, that's all there is to it okay and if we save this and we run this we will be able to solve this particular problem so let's not run first ODE fun but run the run ODE script okay so let's clear all and run ODE script okay and we get the solution as seen over here and the solution smoothly goes on to uh, y equal to z okay that's the solution that we get let's go on to first ODE fun and maybe make a small mistake somewhere. So let's make this as T1. Okay, if you want to parse how the errors look like, let's run ODE and see how the errors are going to look like. Okay, so undefined function or variable T1, the error is noticed in first ODE fun on line number two. So let's go to first ODE fun at line number two and see what that error is. T1 is undefined because our input variable we said was t okay keep in mind our t and y are basically dummy variables so we could have very well named this as t1 and that would not be a problem at all okay for that matter we could have named this as matlab and that would also not be a problem course okay let's call this that's also not going to be a problem at all so let's run this run ode and see whether we get the solution or not. Clear all. Okay. The first ODE, we have just called the first uh, argument as MATLAB, the second argument as course. Of course, it makes absolutely no sense, but I'm showing you again, this is something that some people do get stumped on and that's the reason why I'm showing you this particular crazy example. But let's run this and we get the exact same solution. Okay, this is to demonstrate to you is that the arguments of this, what you call them is not important. The order of this arguments is very important. This has to be y, 
and this has to be T. You cannot replace T and Y. You cannot switch T and Y. The T argument has to come first. Y argument has to come second. You can call it by whatever name you wish to call it and it won't be a problem as long as the order of the arguments is maintained the same. Okay, so let's save this and just for our sake, we'll run this once again and we see that we get the same solution. Okay, so that was the uh, example uh, for solving uh, ODE of the type minus 2T1. Okay, let's take one more example. And this example was covered in computational techniques course in, uh, in module 7 of the computational techniques lecture course. And this one is to find the concentration along a plug flow reactor. DC by DV is given by minus uh, half multiplied by C to the power 1.25 with the initial condition C at V equal to 0 was equal to 1. So we want to solve to find C at values of volume 1, 5 and 10. So let's go over here and edit PFR ODE. Solve plug flow reactor simulation. Okay, so our C0 was equal to 1.0, our V0 was equal to 0. Our V end was we had 1, 5, and 10. Okay, and uh, what else do we need? Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's all that we need. Uh, we will need uh, V solve, and C solve. Okay. C is the dependent variable, V is the independent variable equal to ODE 45 at uh, the independent variable T comma Y. T is the independent variable that is V comma C uh, EFR fun. Okay, we can call this as T comma uh, Y also. We just want to call this as V comma C comma V span. Let's call this as V span comma C0. Okay, we'll come back to that using ODE 45. Okay, let's go over here, clear all and help. OD 45. Okay. So OD 45 T out comma Y out equal to OD 45 OD fun that's the function name T span Y0. T span equal to T0 to T final integrates from time T0 to T final. To obtain solutions at specific times T0, T1, T2 up to T final or increasing or all decreasing Okay, for our purpose, we will just use increasing, use T span equal to T0, T1 up to T final. Okay, so what we want is we want the solutions at 1, 5 and 10. So our V span is going to be V0, comma 1, 5 and 10, which is nothing but V end. So that's going to be our V span. Okay, so we have this, we save this. Okay, and next what we need to do is we want to create the PFR fun. So that's new function DC equal to PFR fun uh, V comma C DC equal to uh, DC is minus half multiplied by C to the power 1.25 0 point minus 0 0.5 multiplied by C the power 1.25 that's it and we need to call it as pfr fun let's just check pfr fun is what it should be v and c are the order of the arguments and yeah so and v span is v0 followed by the values of v at which we want the solution okay 
So let's run this and we have got the solution. So if we solve, you'll see is 0, 1, 5 and 10 and C sol is the concentration at these values. We start with a concentration of 1.0, the concentration falls to 0 0.6 when the volume is 1 liters. When the volume is 5 liters, the concentration has fallen to 1.4. Then when the volume is 10 liters, the concentration has fallen to 0 0.039. Okay. So this is how we will use ODE 45. With that, we come to the end of lecture 7.3. What we covered in this lecture is methods to you method to use MATLAB ODE 45 code to solve ODE initial value problem. We used two different examples for uh, uh, to use ODE 45, and using the two examples, we showed how simple it is in order to run ODE 45 for single variable problem. With this, we come to the end of lecture 7.3, and I will see you in the next lecture. Thank you. Bye.